hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified of when i drop updates on twist of it stay tuned on today's episode alia loves and hugs ria happily both want patchy and see to leave the house forever rambi finds patchy crying and asks the reason she asks him not to question her. He asks her to wake up on time for her engagement tomorrow and feels the same pain of heartbreak like Prachi. Prachi finds the engagement preparation in full swing. Arian tells Rambi has done a lot of work. Rambi tells him he's really happy. Sid arrives there and finds Rambi taunting Prachi. Rambi congratulates Sid, shows the decoration he did, that he would make everyone work except Prachi and asks her to take rest and compliment her. Arian and Shana get into a funny banter. He asks her never to drag her him to a corner. She asks him what he would tell her. He tells if he corners him every time, then he may like her. She tells she can never like him. He asks the reason. She tells she got him to talk something serious. He asks her to talk to someone else. She asks him to talk to Rambe. He tells he she should talk to Rambe and explain that he's being mad to get Prachi married to Sid and asks her to stop Prachi from the madness too. She tells Prachi won't listen to her. He asks her to not make excuses that Rambi and Prachi will stop themselves when they want. Arian flirts with her. Rambi takes Sid's permission to fulfill his wish that he wants to adorn Prachi for the engagement, which is actually Sid's right, and insults Sid. Prachi asks Rambi why he said why he insulted Sid. Rambi tells he would not apologize for his words. She asks him why he said he would make her ready for the engagement. He tells it was a joke and asks if she's scared. She asks him how he can say that. He tells he doesn't know why he said that. She asks him if he wants the marriage to stop. He calls her right this he calls her right, then starts himself himself from her. Dida tells Vandy about Pacha and Sid's marriage happening because of Palavi. Vandi bets the marriage won't happen, that Rambi will stop the marriage. Vandi and Dida make a plan to stop the engagement. Dida tells Rambi and Prachi love each other so much that she doesn't want them to get separated. Vandi assures they won't get separated. Rhea selects her outfit. Alia meets her, selects an outfit for Rhea. Rhea doesn't like it. Alia tells she wants her to wear the dress which would suit Prachi more. Rhea asks her if she doesn't know her class and style. Alia tells Rambi would see her with love if she dresses up like Prachi. That Rambi wouldn't miss Prachi once she leaves. Rhea agrees to make an adjustment to win Rambi. Alia praises her understanding. Rhea gears up to replace Prachi in Rambi's life. Vandi compliments Rhea's beauty and pleases her. Rhea finds her a sweet lady and hugs Vandi and thanks her and goes away smiling. Tida asks Vandi if she likes Rhea more than Prachi. Vandi tells they should keep an enemy close and know her plans. Dida praises her. Sid meets Prachi to reveal the truth. Shana asks him what he means. Sid tells Mihika came home to save him his life from Rhea and Aliyah. That Vikram called him home to know the truth. Rhea and Aliyah tried to get him killed on the way. They kidnapped Mihika and threatened him in order to make him lie to the family. Shana tells it's joking. Sid tells he tried to tell Rambi, but Rhea and Aliyah stopped him. She doesn't believe him. Prachi believes Sid's truth and tells she knows Sid well. Sid thanks her and feels terrible he broke her trust. She tells he cheated her. She didn't cheat him. She has regarded him a brother always. That she can't get engaged to him when he she always thought of tying a racket to him. That she has to play the engagement drama to save Mika's life from Rhea and Aliyah. She pities Mika and vows to protect her. Sid is grateful Prachi is so thoughtful towards Mika. Prachi asks him to get ready to protect his sister. Shana and Prachi offer help to save his sister. Prachi thanks him for relieving a big burden from her heart and feels she got a new life that the engagement will be fake shana asks why he's telling them now he tells them that mika is still in danger she tells he heard palavi's words palavi had accepted prachi as a bahu by hearing her pregnancy news but his lie has ruined it all and feels bad that he has ruined things for prachi and rambi prachi tells she wants to know if rambi has feelings of love for her or not and makes a plan to test rambi's feelings she wants to see if rambi fights back or not when she sees her marrying someone else and tells shana that rambi had to come she wants to see what he would do and that action speaks louder than words that it's, rap it's happening as she thought. She knows Rambi won't say anything, but his actions will prove it. If he can see her becoming of someone else or not. Arian asks Rambi if he's fine. Rambi asks him to see Prachi. Shana tells Prachi knows Rambi's feelings well. Prachi tells Rambi has his ego, and now she would keep her safety. 
Shana tells she looks amazing. Prachi tells she doesn't care and meets Vandy, appears really happy and surprises Vandy and Didi. Prachi tells she's feeling really happy, like she got much gifts, ignores Rambi and tells she was feeling low, but when she got decked up for her engagement, then she thought she's worrying for no use. Life is beautiful, everything will be fine. Shana tells she was also surprising Prachi. Rambi tries to talk. Prachi tells she doesn't need any compliment and goes to talk to Vikram. He asks her to always smile and stay happy and wishes her all the best. Shana tells Prachi is really right, but Rambi can't understand her plan. Arian asks her what is Prachi saying. She doesn't tell anything. Palavi compliments Prachi's glowing face. Rambi tells he made Prachi ready. She's feeling good, so she's glowing. Rambi tries to get Prachi's attention and gets confused. Palavi tells Vikram that Prachi really looks happy. Alea meets the goons, gives money to them and tells them they should never tell anyone about Mika. There's something out of their control. Seed overhears them. She asks them to answer her call whenever she calls them and tells them what to do with Mika and asks them to leave from the window. Arian tells Rambi that Prachi is behaving strange. Sid goes to tell Prachi about Mika that he needs to talk in private. Rambi and Arian sees them leaving and wonder what's happening. Arian tells Rambi that Sid would have taken Prachi to spend time. Vandy and Dida see Rhea. Vandy tells she would handle Rhea well and talks to her sweetly and tells Rhea that she heard Dida telling about something mixed in the water. Rhea asks if Dida wants to kill her. Vandy scares her and tells Dida would have made it manant for Rhea's bad health and goes to Dida and tells Rhea really got scared. Vikram asks them what they are talking. Rambi tells Arian that he has to check Prachi. He falls for her every minute. He sees her and asks where Sid and Prachi went. Sid asks Prachi to do something. He has told her the truth. Prachi tells Mika will be safe and asks him not to worry. Rambi and Aria try to hear their talks. Prachi opens the door and they fall inside. She tells she has many interesting things to do in her life. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.